Hello everyone, Mr. Happy here, and today I have a very special presentation for you. Today, we are going to be unboxing and getting a first look at... The Alienware Steam Machine. Now, I have been interested in Steam Machines for quite some time, but I personally wasn't sure if I'd have the funds available to dedicate to an entire system. However, Dell got in contact with me and offered to ship me a unit for free so that I could review it and give you guys my general thoughts about it. Whether that be the system, the controller, the operating system, whatever it is I have a comment on, well, I'm free to share it with you guys. Now, just to reiterate, again, Dell did send me this unit for free, but... Just as you guys know, I'm brutally honest when it comes to these kind of things. So if there's anything wrong with the controller, if there's any sort of criticisms that I have, I will be sure to let you guys know immediately. Anyway, uh, without further ado, what do you say we get into the actual unboxing, going over some of the specs that are on here, uh, and generally what we know about the Steam Machine and what my first impressions are as I'm taking it out of the box. Let's get started. All right, so I'm working with a bit of limited space here, so I decided to take the actual box out of the protective casing right here this is what you saw before this was a sleeve that went over the actual box itself we'll put that to the side for now apologies for the volume uh going up and down with my microphone but this box is going to be pretty interesting to unbox with the space that i have so i am actually going to move it over here and take it nice and slowly as you can see like i said quite limited space after opening the box and showing what's inside I think it'll be more important that I put the box on the side and take the aspects out of it. So this is the box, this is the casing on the inside. Uh, we have a bunch of wires right here. I'll take these out again, just so we can have them out of the way. We have the power adapters. We have, let's see, what is this? Can't tell what this is because it's protected very well. So I have a hard time seeing through the uh, the protective, the, the plastic right there. The other half of the power adapter is right there. Okay, and now is where we have to be very, very careful. So let's see, how do we want to go about taking this out? Well, first, actually, looks like we, uh, oh, they did a, wow, this is so well packaged. I can't remember the last time I opened something this well packaged. There we go. We have the actual controller and the systems. Oh, wow, goodness. I'm not even sure how to unbox this. There we go, wow. They actually have... Look, this is the protective casing for the controller. Very effective. I don't remember ever opening something like this when it came to some of the other consoles that I have. I thought it was just there, and then I noticed the uh, the lining. We'll throw that over to the side and remove the controller. So let's take a look at the Steam controller. There we go. So Steam controller, pretty simple right here. Uh, now, I'm sure you're probably wondering what the heck is going on. It looks just like any other controller. The big thing to remember about the Steam Controller is that a lot of these two areas can actually be individually mapped, so that way you can uh, you can actually customize it perfectly for the game that you're playing. And it also is designed so that even if you're playing a game that isn't designed for controllers on the Steam Machine, that you're actually going to be able to map it and find some sort of unique way of actually playing it. So uh, we have these two buttons back here which make up the entire uh, back plate right here. We also have the shoulder buttons. And of course, we have the plug-in, uh, all the shoulder buttons, the, the pads on the back. And everything, it feels almost like, so you know how when you have a mechanical keyboard, you can kind of feel the clicks of it? And obviously, I'm not gonna go into talking about switches right here. I can feel the impact of every single button I push, which is pretty satisfying, in all honesty. That's what I love about mechanical keyboards. So this is my first time getting my hands on the Steam Controller. I'm looking forward to actually putting it to use on games that both already come with some sort of controller support, as well as games that don't natively come with controller support. That's going to be the biggest thing. I'm going to put the controller off to the side right here, and then inside, we have the Steam Machine itself. Now, despite the size of the box, the Steam Machine is actually pretty comfy. Look at it, here. My, I have really small hands, and yet it is the size of my hand. Wow, that's actually pretty impressive. Now, I know you're probably wondering what's actually inside the box, but before we do that, let's look at what the box comes with. Let's see, we have the little Alienware symbol in the front. We also have two USB ports. The sides don't seem to have anything. The bottom just comes with like a serial number. Let's just know that it's an Intel i3 uh, core. I'll be going over the specs of this in a few seconds. And then in the back, you can see the varying inputs, different ways that you can connect the system, HDMI cords, broadband, uh, more USB ports, as well as a power port. So. Pretty basic, uh, seems to have some fans in the back as well in order to keep it uh, well ventilated. And wow, this is really small. This is actually pretty 
This is actually pretty cozy, if you ask me. You can fit this pretty much anywhere uh, comfortably in a living room without needing to make too much space for it, which is pretty much a thing that they're going for with this Steam machine. They want it to be something to bring Steam to console gamers uh, as well. Ooh, batteries. Good. I'm assuming those are batteries for the controller. Uh, not 100% sure, but we have two AA batteries right here. So, um, if those are for the controller, I'll be finding that out very, very shortly. And yes, we do have what seems to be a battery pack here. Is this a battery pack? Hey, maybe I should actually look at the manual before I comment on some of these things. It is a first unboxing, but I can see what looks like a USB port. And then we have... Um, the name escapes me right now. Uh, another another, another, uh, another port right there. Not a USB port, though. Alright, so let's move some of this stuff out of the way. We can go over the specs of the Steam machine. It's the rest of the box. Just make sure there's nothing else in there. Let me put this off to the side real quick. Alright, so we have, if you are using a Steam controller, it gives you a general idea of what is going on. It does also let you know that it does work with an Xbox 360 controller, as you can see. Uh, and there are other controllers that work. I've been told that the PlayStation 4 controller, or I've seen that the PlayStation 4 controller does work as well. And I'm assuming other similar game pads work. In case, you know, the, the Steam controller doesn't have to be for everyone. I think it's a fair statement to make. And I think in here... There's, <laughs> I feel like there's supposed to be something in here. Oh, this is probably where the manual uh, would go. Um, however, I don't seem to have one. <laughs> so we're just going to move past that. Um, anyway, though, let's get all of this stuff in front of us. I can go over the specs of the Steam Machine. I'm actually pretty impressed with the size of it. I thought it was going to be way bigger than that. I'm sure there are some Steam Machines out there that are way bigger, but I prefer a smaller system. So uh, let me grab the box again and go over the specs on the side right here. So, this is a 4th generation Intel i3 processor, 8 gigabytes of memory, or RAM, whatever you prefer. It's got a 1 terabyte 7200 RPM hard drive. It's got an NVIDIA GeForce GTX GPU, and if I remember correctly, this is a GPU that was specifically designed for the Alienware Steam Machine. It's also got 2 gigabytes GDDR5 graphics. So, overall, pretty interesting. Uh, of course, it has the Steam operating system. Comes with uh, wireless AC and Bluetooth, Intel dual band wireless AC, and Bluetooth 4.0, a six foot HDMI cable, which is probably one of those cables there I said I couldn't identify, the Steam controller, and a game bundle. It actually does come with a few uh, games just for purchasing the system. So I'm actually, again, uh, happy with the size of it, and I'm looking forward to actually doing a playthrough of what is inside. Now, um, the Steam controller comes with the Intel 4th generation core. I feel like there's something I really wanted to mention when it comes to this. Hmm. Well, I'll be doing plenty of videos on this in the future where we'll actually get hands-on with the different functionalities of everything that you see here. And if it really is the right answer for, you know, console gamers that want access to things like the Steam library, because that is really what it's bringing. It's bringing Steam to your living room. And that is going to be the most interesting thing about this. Now, um, but the final thing I really wanted to touch upon with this, because I know everyone groaned probably at the start of this video, is everyone heard the word Alienware, and they immediately thought, well, this is going to be expensive. <laughs> and, let, I mean, let's be real here. A lot of people know Alienware for, you know, how expensive it is. It's the same. I could say the same for a lot of companies that do pre-built machines and whatnot. But Alienware is one of the original ones that, you know, people kind of criticize for the price points. So I want to talk about the price point for this machine before I even go into the next video where we're actually going to be testing it and going over the quality of the games, what kind of games it can play, uh, how well the controller works, all that stuff. So this is actually a slightly more advanced model than the base model. Uh, this model, like I said, has a terabyte of uh, hard drive space and 8 gigabytes of RAM. The base model has 4 gigabytes of RAM and 500 terabytes of space. The base model is, with the controller, $449. Without the controller, $400. It's a $50 controller. Um, and this one is $100 more, so this one's at $549, uh, $499 with the controller. Uh, now, looking at the $400 model, I'd say that $400, considering it's not just a console, uh, is a decent price point. Uh, honestly, I'm shocked I'm saying this about an Alienware product right now. Um, but that's only because it comes with a bunch of stuff too. Like it comes with, I think, Payday 2, uh, the 2015 Game of the Year edition. It comes with a game called Screen Cheat. If you haven't seen that game before, it's it's pretty funny. It's, it's more of a party game 
where you can look at other you have to look at other people's screens in order to find out where they are so you can kill them. Uh, Rooster Teeth has a uh, or Achievement Hunter has a video on that a game called Robot Roller Derby Disco Dodgeball. I've heard of it, never played it, so I can't comment on on it too much. It's got some additional DLC, some exclusive items like a branded skin, a 200 mammoth coins, and a game called Brawlhalla. M18 Black Cat Tank and XP 38G Lightning Plane and War Thunder. Alienware exclusive demo of Coffin Dodgers. So it comes with a bunch of stuff. It's not just $400 for the console. Honestly, Payday 2 in itself is a great game. So uh, if anything, the fact that it comes with that is already a great start. Um, so overall, I'd say that it's a better price point than I expected for an Alienware product. Um, I know that the bigger thing for me is what the console is capable of when I put it alongside. Because like, I have a PlayStation 4. So... If this can run a game that my PlayStation 4 can run, you know, it's not an exclusive. I already have a PC, but let's just talk. Let's say I didn't have a PC and there's all these Steam games I want to play. I already own a PlayStation 4. I've been buying them for that. I see the Steam machine and I go, okay, what does the Steam machine do that my PlayStation 4 can't at this price point? Well, the fact that it's going to be PC games and the fact that it's got things like the i3, it's got some, uh, it's got some, you know, good parts in it. If it can run the game better than my PS4, and it's $400, plus it comes with all that stuff. Um, this could be a serious contender, uh, the Steam Machine, on the market. But that's something we got to test in the next video. I can talk about what it could be capable of and how great it could be. But we need to see how this machine actually functions. I'm going to switch back to the other camera real quick so I can finish up my points here. Sorry, it was just getting a bit awkward standing there. I kept crossing my legs and everything. So, uh, as I was saying, I want to get my hands on the actual operating system, the Steam operating system inside, see how it functions, see if it really can compete with the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One in terms of being a home console or a means of getting PC games in the hands of your average console gamer at a comparable price point, which, you know, it's a console. It's got to be able to do all those things. So, uh... Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, favorite, subscribe, and share, and stay tuned for more Alienware Steam Machine videos. Uh, also, if you're seeing this video right now, uh, if it is November 2nd while you're seeing it, it's not any day later, be sure to come by my live stream. I'm actually going to be testing it live and giving away a few things. I have uh, four copies of Fallout 4 on Steam. You know, figure I might as well make it Steam related. Four copies of Fallout 4 on Steam to give away, and also have one Valve games key which actually is all of valve's games past present and future so it's basically a lifetime uh, a lifetime key for valve in other words when when half-life 3 comes out you'll have it already but that's only going one lucky winner so got to make sure you show up if you want to get your hands on that one so anyway again thank you for watching i will see you all in the next video and until then take care